So here's a rare appearance. I'm on film, which I don't normally do. However, I've decided just to stem some curiosity for the people who don't know me, if you watch my channel, whatever. But today, I was having a tidy up of above my wardrobe because, as I've mentioned before, I do make Airfix kits. Well, Airfix, Revel, whatever. I'm not very good. I'm very amateurish. Painting needs a lot to be desired. And these have been waiting for the decals for a good month or two now. Or more. But I do like doing them. And I plan to do some more. In fact, I'm still working on a jag. I've kind of I, I lost interest, but I might do some more tonight. I mean, it's only quarter to seven is the time of this recording. But what I thought I'd like to do is just show my current collection of models by, obviously, the Puscats. Because they are not models, they are Puscats. But this is essentially my current collection. Apologies for the light. This is a normal energy bulb. So with this cheap little camera it looks like crap so where to begin well I suppose some people may blatantly obviously notice the Robotech kits I quite like these apparently they were released under license through Revel from people like Tatsunoko primarily because obviously Mac Ross and Southern Cross and so forth was a was it Tatsunoko? who did them, memory escapes correctly. However, obviously they had the model kits in Japan. So, for example, this is not Robotech. For anyone who knows, that's definitely not Robotech as such. That it is a mech. Some of my kits, I shall say now, are incomplete. I believe this is missing the attack helicopter, which is kind of annoying. If I remember right, this Zoltech is an armoured trooper Vertoms robot though I could be wrong on that one and then you have such thing as, as they call it Nebo which is actually from August but we shall start from up top end and work down so one of my oldest uh, first purchases when I started was the mid 80's model uh, this is a Revel kit skill level 3 so hopefully might be able to do it 1570 scale now if I remember correctly because some people may see it here it's got Max and Spencer on it Max and Spencer's a retail chain in England for those foreigners well <laughs> you're not foreign you're just from other countries and here it is in the heritage collection by Revel now these were roughly early prints in the 80s and reprinted with haste as soon as the ship was found and if I remember correctly on the old documentary now of um... Oh, great thanks cat yeah, that's one good thing at least they're not built so the boxes are fairly resilient uh, these um... This this is a reprint with the reprint of the box from the one from roughly when it was found. However, this printing itself is very late nineties, early two thousands, because it has a web address. So the so that kit's the same as its original print. We have a Hella kit, Norton Commando seven fifty Roadster, one eighth scale. This was fairly expensive, and sadly the boxes seen some better days however I will patch this up this one is a definite wait till I get much better because at my current skill level I would not do it any justice uh, the reason why I got this simply because I do like motorcycles although I'm not a rider at some point I plan to be but, you know but there is the movie I bought a vampire motorcycle a Neil Morrissey in it not as some reviewer online says Morrissey is in The Singer. He made Neil Morrissey is in the British television actor. With Anthony Daniels. Oh, God damn it, cat. Again. At least that's the lighter of the two. 
Um, and basically, it's a Norton Commander that becomes a vampire. And I like the look of the bike. So, I thought I'm having a model kit. Current printing, one for hundredth scale Titanic. Again, Revel. If I remember correctly, there was a 400 and a 570 at the time it was found, back in 85. And I believe this is a reprint of that. However, this is the 100th anniversary edition. The original print obviously didn't have any of this because it wasn't the 100th anniversary. But you can get a version which has really high detailed decals and then you can get one that's even higher with photo etched decals and brass little brass and copper and all sorts and that currently goes for a good bit of price we then have random ones uh, if you remember that's a King Panzer Mark IV Italiera we then have Sherman Light Tank the M3, so not Sherman, the M3 Stewart Mark I we then have another box with an M3 half track amphibious and a bike these were mostly all bought from a charity shop at less than £4 a, a kit. German light patrol vehicle. A Mark III Panzer with the wrong box. But as far as I can tell, the kit's complete. We have a Cromwell, same scenario. Wrong box, but all complete. Uh, some of the others are somewhere else. We have a model of Cutie Honey which is a PVC kit that's from the Kiwi Honey new Cutie Honey style however these kits are cool, it's a PVC or a vinyl, something like that and they have Devilman, the Alien, Siren so I'll try my hand at that an F430 Ferrari my cousin found this in a charity shop for £1.50 not that you can see it because the light and I've seen this thing go quite more expensive and he said I could have it for the same price to him. Still cellophane, late 80s, early 90s, 1 600th scale HMS HUD. My granddad got me this because I said I'd started doing kits and stuff and he said, oh, well, I know where there's one. So that is definitely going to be done. And I might try and get the others, all the others in 600th scale from the uh, sinking of the Bismarck, get the hood and Prince of Wales, the Eugen, Bismarck itself, I don't know. Uh, as we can see what we're on now, some more Robotech. VTF1D, trainer model. This is a three-in-one kit, I believe it makes three separate kits of those. Or is this the... Yeah, I think these are the smaller kits and they're the three-in-one, so you make the three separate models like that. However, uh, I'll get onto that. Another robot from Argus in the Robotech Changes range. The range. We have. Oop, there it is. Axoid, which is actually a VF1G from Macros or Robotech. The bigger ones basically are three in one. A bit like the Jet Fire Valkyrie Transformers toy. But a bit more, way more delicate. Then have the next one, another VF1J, the Arbot release. Two in one micro kits. Next, F80 Crusader. I always sort of like the look of this plane. And then, if anybody's ever watched the anime Area 88 or played the games, this was his first plane, the main characters, whose name escapes me at the minute. I think it was uh, Shin. It might have been somewhat different. It's been a while since I watched it. I have the 172 Revel scale, and the, which obviously is this one, and then the uh, Hasegawa kits, which are always much nicer to work on. Uh, I didn't speak on it, but we have a Capri RS 3100 Academy kit. Which, if I remember, these are pretty expensive. Oh, obviously they are now. That wants to go in the Capri collection, which I will build eventually. Eventually. So we've already talked about that one. And that one. 
So the Nebo, I've got two of these. I'm basically on the look for any of the Robotech model kits. Preferably unbuilt. Especially, like, one of the Nebos is half built, if I remember. So I don't know if I'll ever bother continuing that. I might just start the unbuilt one and have spares in case a part's a bit brittle with age. Because these kits, would you believe it, are from 1984. So literally when Robotech came out. So... What's that? 30 years old now. A smaller one. Another 3-in-1 kit. The next 3-in-1 kit. There's not much really to say. They're basically... In the series, they're almost the same plane, just slightly different power ratings. You know, more missiles, guns, yada yada. They have a 48 scale F-80. Much bigger. Again, Revel. Nothing too different. There's the larger scale Veritech again. We then have, which is quite a rare kit from what I can understand, very old Bandai kit from about 1972. Actual made in Japan of the very of the Mark One Capri, the 1600 GT, which I would love to own one, but. Don't have the skills to restore it, but <laughs> not yet anyway. The cool thing with this one is it comes with a Mebuchi Re 14 motor. Operates with two standard pencils, as in batteries, I believe. The double A's. I'm opening this kit because it is cool, just to show, to show the motor and everything. I've got it upside down. What's really cool is it has a light unit and it does drive backwards and forwards and when built together you get the actual indicators and everything illuminate. It's a recent kit my dad gave me, German version F4 Phantom. Uh, I'll swing down to these just while I'm here. These are what my dad recently sort of gave to us, and I gave him a the USS Four, or uh, Fark, French aircraft carrier. That kit was one he was wanting. Uh, so we have some German biplane set, Southworth triplane, F4U, P51. I quite like this. This looks sort of cheap, but not Starfix. Never really heard of them, but there you go. A little reconnaissance plane. And just move over to some of my others. Uh, Salido Metal Capri kit. Another King Panzer Mark IV late version. Tiger Mark I. Another Robotech Defenders kit. And Mini Robotech Factory set. There's two for. I think there's about eight to ten parts for that. So, I don't know if I'll ever find any more. Quite rare. We then have some other Robotech stuff. Which Japanese kit of the Macro set. This builds three mini models. Uh, does it give us a scale again? Well, the three mini models in 172 scale for the Skull version, which is very cool. Lots of parts, gonna spend some time with that. Eventually, that can go in the attic with the rest of the Macross Robotech stuff. After I close it, another Robotech unit. See, now that one is, might just be some robot unit or it might be in an anime. They just bought a load of copyright designs, which some people may be familiar with the trouble with. Uh, Harmony Gold, for example, owning the rights to certain robots. The Tomahawk and Phalanx, for example, in Robotech slash Macross, which were just uh, reused in the early Battletech MechWarrior universe. So that's why we may never see another MechWarrior, because Harmony Gold are being crybabies. So this in Toy Master's Sheet. Upstairs, I had already bought the USS Voyager kit from my local boys. 
And then I saw a Toy Master had this, so I thought, whatever, I'll get it. I know my dad's got this and several other kits as of recent, so this one will be on the to build when I get a better skill. This little one is like a custom little, you know, a small company kit made for collectors of another rally version of the Capri. These things are quite uh, small scale, you know, sold in fan groups and things. I've seen a lot of those go for some good price. This kit is a fairly recent kit from Japan. I have four of them. One of them is pretty much built, but that's okay. That's cool. I'll practice painting with that one. The other three are unbuilt. I just can't get the motor for it, so if anyone can tell me what motor will fit it, well, where I can get the motor, rather, I should say, because it, use, it even tells you that it is a, well, an FA-130, so I've never seen any on eBay, but if someone can tell me where I can get one cheaply. And then Ford Escort Mark 1, which might be next built after the Jag, I don't know. I've kind of lost interest in the Jag, but I should really get it finished. But, for the moment, that is my current kit, the ones I've built. The Mosquito's uh, on the PlayStation 2. Sadly, that thing's been bashed around with travelling. It's lost a prop and it's dirty as hell now, but... Whatever. I'll, when I get better, I'll buy another and rebuild it, maybe. And then keep it on a shelf somewhere. But that is the current collection. taking up a lot of space which is why I've got them done down well off the shelf the wardrobe and thought to myself well I might as well sort of just show people what I have whether they find it interesting you know that's cool ask any questions I'm more than happy to help uh, got any advice for me any painting techniques that I can give a try one I did learn is don't stick gloss paint in a matte thinner Oops, that's my paintbrush ruined, but I wasn't thinking. I should have thought to myself, I can't use that, but oh well, never did. So I need a new brush. <laughs> but that's why you buy them on eBay and things cheap. And that is why, as I say, I'm not going to do, for example, that Capri, or any of these smaller Jap kits and things, because if I make a mistake, I've only got myself to blame, so I might as well wait till I get better. I may never get better, but I'll still enjoy doing them, and if I never do, I'll just have to sell them. They'll never change the sort of condition they're in now, I'll try and fix a few of the boxes, and maybe one day someone else will buy them who has the skill to build them. Right, so I shall call this a video, get these organised, put the ones back up on my cupboard, and then think about going in the attic. Thanks for watching, any comments, just leave them.